Although Mike Tyson boasted many times during his long career, both with his sharp tongue and reckless actions, compared to his opponent in this video, our main character seemed ridiculous. In the 2000s, Mike Tyson was far from his ideal form due to his drug addiction and careless attitude towards training. The world's most dangerous man lost his phenomenal mobility, endurance, and hand speed. Despite it all, Iron Mike started the new millennium with victories over Julius Francis and Lou Savarese, totaling three rounds. In this video, Tyson's lack of skill compared to his opponent can be clearly seen. It is evident that his fame and previous abilities are not enough to compensate for his lack of proper training and preparation. Despite it all, Tyson manages to win some fights, demonstrating his innate boxing ability. It is important to note that, although Tyson had personal and physical problems in his career, he is still considered one of the greatest boxers of all time. His achievements in the ring are undeniable, and his place in the history of boxing is secured. Despite the ups and downs in his career, Tyson will always be remembered as a true champion in the sport of boxing. Before we continue, I invite you to subscribe and activate the notification bell, and if you're enjoying the video, feel free to leave a like. On October 20, 2000, Tyson faced the famous Polish boxer Andrew Golota in Michigan. Golota was an eccentric boxer who was 32 years old at the time of the fight. He knew how to put on a show, as demonstrated in his two previous fights against Riddick Bowie. In the first duel, Golota knocked out his opponent with a low blow, causing a massive brawl in the arena. Golota, who willingly participated in it, received several blows to the head. In the rematch, Golota outperformed his American counterpart but managed once again to throw a series of low blows in the ninth round, resulting in his disqualification. In the fight against Tyson, Golota also attempted to play dirty but was overpowered by Tyson's power and skill in the ring. The fight was thrilling but did not have the same level of controversy as Golota's previous fights. In the end, Tyson emerged victorious and once again showcased his dominance in the sport of boxing. It is important to highlight that Andrew Golota's career was plagued with controversy and behavioral issues. Despite his skill in the ring, his reckless and dangerous actions led to several disqualifications and put his professional boxing career at risk. The fight against Golota began with Tyson using his characteristic style, cornering his opponent against the ropes and delivering a series of effective punches. Despite the difference in size and age, Tyson moved with ease around the ring, and Golota couldn't find a way to counter his power. In a short amount of time, Golota was taking significant damage and, at the end of the round, collapsed to the canvas after receiving a powerful right hook from Tyson. It was a display of Iron Mike's destructive power, as he always had an innate ability to shake his opponents with his punching power. During the second round, Tyson continued his relentless attack, and Golota appeared unable to defend himself properly, mostly resorting to clinching to escape. The Polish boxer was visibly discouraged, and when the bell rang, he made a surprising decision to quit the fight. Он уже внутрь. 
Агалота. У него есть все шансы выиграть этот бой. Все шансы. Но опытному глазу видно, что и Тайсон снижает обороты. Голоте бы продержаться еще. Galota's fight started as usual, putting his opponent against the ropes and throwing dozens of punches. However, the size advantage and age difference were not helping Andrew, as Mike managed to establish a comfortable distance for himself and hit Galota with ease. The latter couldn't adapt to Tyson's power and received significant damage. Finally, after a powerful right-handed punch, Galota fell at the end of the first round. In the second round, Galota attacked again but mostly resorted to clinching to escape. Andrew was clearly discouraged, and after the bell rang, he made the most unexpected decision, not to continue the fight. Galota simply did not come out for the third round and started arguing with his trainer, who was against stopping the fight. Despite attempts to put a mouthguard in his mouth, Galota paced non-stop on his side of the ring. Soon, the boxer skipped the ropes and went to the dressing rooms, with the attention of the cameras. Tyson, who had been declared the winner, suddenly lost his temper. The American athlete wanted a clean knockout victory, but as it was later discovered, it was impossible for the top boxer to win this fight as traces of marijuana were found in his blood. The fight was declared invalid, and the most disappointed were the spectators who paid a considerable amount of money for a show that actually did not take place. A deafening noise and whistling erupted in the arena. Galota's hasty exit was followed by aggressive shouts, but soon fans started throwing anything they had at hand, such as fruits, coins, and cups with drinks. A bottle of energy drink hit Galota and painted his body red. The Polish boxer took shelter in the back rooms under the protection of guards. Representatives from Showtime TV, who organized the fight, were also greatly disappointed. They called Galota a coward and announced that they would no longer work with him. Soon, Andrew gave an interview explaining his actions. Although his excuses were laughed at, a medical examination revealed numerous serious injuries that the boxer sustained during the fight, such as a broken cheekbone and spine problems. Therefore, Galota left the sport for almost three years. That's it for today's video. Remember to subscribe if you enjoy boxing, and don't forget to activate the notification bell.